pretty common knowledge these days that horses are prey animals and people are predators. But what does this mean in our relationship? You know, as leaders, a lot of people tend to think about being firm with the horse, being strong, suppressing him, controlling him. And yet leadership with horses couldn't be any further from the opposite. What we have to do is understand the horse's perspective on things, that you know, the more unconfident he is, the more he's gonna notice things because he doesn't feel safe. And how can he feel safe when he's with us? How can I be the best thing for my horse? That he goes, whatever's going on, you're gonna be the best place to be. Whether I'm on the ground, whether I'm on his back, that I can give him that kind of leadership and that kind of um, solace, I guess you'd say. So then that connection is the most powerful thing that you can have with a horse. It almost overrides everything else. Can you imagine if your horse liked you as much as you like your horse or loved you as much as you love him? But we often make mistakes, you know, where we want to hug our horses and cuddle them and things like that. And yet that might be something that the horse doesn't like. So can you really look at life from the horse's point of view instead of your point of view? Because the more you can relate to the horse, the more connected he's going to be with you. So I hear a lot of people get frustrated with things like when the horse is spooking or he's hard to handle his feet or to give a shot to, doesn't want to get into trailers. And really what you want to be able to think about is how do I get it to where he doesn't feel the need to fight us? He doesn't feel afraid of those things, that he understands that we're not doing it to him, that we're actually doing it for him. So that's what I'm looking forward to teaching you in this module on connection, is to see things from the horse's point of view, because that's where it starts. And once you've got that in place, now the sky's the limit. So stay with me. We're going to talk about leadership, the nature of horses, how to read a horse, and lots of good things that will take your knowledge and skills to a whole new level.